Although it started here at BLS four years ago, Youth Can has become a lot more than just a group of kids at one school working to make a difference in the fight against global warming. Youth Can is now a network of over 20 different schools in and around Boston, both working together on network-wide projects, as well as helping each other out in their own, more local work. As a network, Youth Can holds two big events every year. The summit is our spring event, and in the fall, we have a kickoff. Youth Can's theme this year is food and sustainability, so last fall we hosted a food fair here at BLS. There were lots of fun activities, tours of our recently planted gardens, and booths from various sustainable food vendors. Basically, a great time with lots of learning going on too. I am an activist. I like being in Youth Can and being part of seeking important legislative changes. I want to change the world. In Youth Can, there are opportunities to really start to do it. I'm an environmentalist. So this fall, we participated in, in 350.org's Global Work Party by planning a culinary garden for our school. But a couple days before that, about five of us from Youth Can got to participate in installing the cold frames. And so we had shovels, we were singing and just talking as we were, as we were literally digging up dirt to make the preparations for a garden that we knew would not just be helping us and youth can, but also the whole school and, and um, even generations of students to come if the projects continued. Youth can is involved in so many different projects. There is always something that people will want to work on. We're tutoring fifth graders at the Philbrick Elementary School so that they can start their own climate action projects. We're working on a green job summer program that will pay teens to learn how to do school energy audits. We're learning to help plan a food and justice summit, and we're working to make education for sustainability required in all Massachusetts schools. I like science, and I like that I have opportunities in Youth Can to engage in change in a way that's grounded in real science. I appreciate all the resources that the Youth Can Network brings together. I love meeting with the other Youth Can groups and finding out what they're doing and getting ideas for what our school could do. I'm an educator. It actually took me a while until I realized that I could be an educator. I love my school a lot, but I've always thought that there was something missing from it, which is that all of your learning is compartmentalized. You go to English, you go to math, you go to history, and they have nothing to do with each other. Um, and some important stuff, like sustainability, climate change, they never got talked about. So the students in Youth Can decided to launch the EFS campaign. We got involved with SELF and they've been holding sustainability curriculum development workshops at New York for several years. So we invited them and together we held this summer institute at Simmons College. Carol Johnson, the school superintendent, she came and she told us how excited she was about the EFS campaign and how glad she was that we students cared so much about our education. I mean for me that was immensely gratifying to see her um, tell us how much she appreciated our work. I like working with others. I love hanging out with all kinds of different people who have come together to work for a common purpose. I love planning big youth can events. We have so much fun getting ready for the annual summit. It's a ton of work, but it's like putting on a show. Except it has the added benefit of being for a really good cause. I'm a leader. Once I was on the bus, I think it was actually the 39, and I was just about to get off. I was getting in my stop, and I saw these girls whispering. They're like, shh, 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 shh. And I was like, what? what are these girls talking about? And I hear them say, oh, wow, she's actually pretty nice. Like, I think she's a co president of UK. Yeah, 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 you could ask her, you could ask her. So one of the girls is like, um, no, excuse me, are you the co president of Youth Can? And I was like, yeah, and? And she was like, well, we just wanted to know um, if there was a meeting on Monday. I was like, yeah, sure. Like, are you guys planning on coming by? And they were like, yeah, we just wanted to know what time it was. I was like, oh, you can come after school anytime. And she was like, oh, yeah, thank you. And I, and I got off the bus, and I just felt like it was a great feeling to know that somebody felt comfortable just coming up to me on a bus in the city and asking me a question. And so that was a moment when I really knew that I had become a good leader. We're really proud of how far we've come. And if there are other schools who want to take similar actions, they can start by joining Youth Can. Youth Can member groups get to be a part of all the cool things we do, like the fall kickoff, the summit, and the EFS campaign. Those are all network-wide projects. We're also planning to have a network-wide steering committee to set agendas. We put out a newsletter to keep groups in the loop, and we try to support what each other are doing and share information. Besides, BLS Youth Can has been active for four years now. Chances are we can connect newer groups to resources and ideas that will help them reach their goals. The most important benefit is that our network makes a real impact in the community. When others join, they can too. More info, including how to contact us, is at blsyouthcan.org. 
Also, if your school doesn't have a climate action group yet, our website has a great starter kit that walks you through every step of starting a group. Hope to hear from you soon.